First, 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 first. Who else is watching this in current year? I'm first. No, I'm first. Everyone needs to know I was the first person to leave a comment on this YouTube video. Please, I, I don't have a lot going on right now. Fellas, I'm just gonna go ahead and say what we're all thinking here. This video is a forgery and also a homosexual. Hey, why are we spending our finite time spreading negativity and arguing with strangers whose minds will never change? Are we really that bitter we have to bring others down? These comments are pointless because everyone knows I'm first. Comment sections in some form or another have been around since the internet's conception and I don't see them ever going away. So in like 200 years, historians are going to be studying ancient comments to see what life was like back then. Right underneath this video and any other video ever posted is an open forum for anyone who watched the video to leave their semi-unfiltered anonymous opinions and nothing bad has ever come from it. <laughs> Wait, are you scrolling down to read the comments while the video is playing? You, you haven't even finished the video and you're reading the comments? I'm sorry, did I bore you? Are you bored? No, no, that's fine, don't mind me. It's not like we were in the middle of a one-sided conversation or anything. Also, if you see any spam bots, can you report them for me? They're, they're a real problem. Like most people, I will watch a video and then not add anything to the conversation and go about my day watching more videos. And I know the vast majority of you do this too because let's math something out. If we look at my last video and take the total amount of comments and divide it by views, we only get 0.4% of people who watch the video leave a comment. That's not a whole lot. Oh, I know, what if we look at a YouTuber apology video? I'm sure there's a bunch of people leaving comments, you know, letting people know their thoughts and having a civil discussion. Huh, only 0.3% of people who watched the video left a comment. Every video I did the math on only ever had a 0.5% view to comment ratio. So if only 0.5% of people are leaving comments, why am I talking about them? Because while most of us aren't comment leavers, I know the majority of us are comment readers. This video and the comment section are digital neighbors. You literally don't have to travel far to read comments. They're, they're right there. Sorry if you're watching this on a TV, by the way. They're, they are there, trust me. And I can prove most people are comment readers because a lot of times a single comment will get more thumbs up than there are total comments on a video. Which of course they do because who's gonna take the time to write out a whole comment when they could just thumbs up the ones they agree with? The relationship between YouTuber and comment section is a little complicated. For one, it's the only time I get to kind of have a conversation with 0.4% of you. If you feel so inclined, you can type out a response to this video, give me feedback, tell a joke, or post a timestamp of a part you liked, and there's a 99% chance I'll never see that. But if I do, and I like what you said enough, I can give your comment a little heart badge. Yeah, I perceive this guy. Although there are some challenges with comment sections that are not exclusively YouTuber problems. Even in the early days of the internet, comment sections have had a reputation of being toxic and argumentative. I will say I have noticed that comment sections are not as toxic as they were in the 2010s. Maybe websites have just gotten better at moderating, but I've noticed an overall decrease in the amount of slurs and KYSs compared to when I was 13, so, so good job, comment section. You, you're growing up. I think there are three reasons why comment sections can be very toxic. Number one, people are more likely to speak out when they disagree with something rather than agree with it. If you come across the comment, I like cats. You're not gonna go out of your way to comment, I agree with your opinion, cats are lovely. You might give the comment a thumbs up, but otherwise you're just gonna keep scrolling. But if you're someone who only likes dogs and you have too much free time, now you're getting all worked up seeing a different opinion than yours, so you're gonna comment, this is really insensitive to dogs, you know, my dog could beat up your cat. <laughs> so every comment section will eventually devolve into a cesspool full of people who disagree with each other. But the toxicity is only magnified because of reason number two, people are anonymous. When you don't have to face real world repercussions for all the reprehensible shit you say, there's no limit to the things you won't spout out. 
Although there is something to be said about never being truly anonymous online. Maybe in the pre-Facebook era you could get away with saying some messed up stuff, but now if you upset the wrong person, they'll post your IP address. So, for example, this guy commented, and now I'm outside his mother's home. First! And what makes it worse is you don't know if the comment you're reading is from an adult or a 13 year old. And yes, that matters because 13 year olds aren't people. And the third reason why comment sections are so toxic? <sighs> Sometimes people just want to make you angry. You know, they, they wrestle your jimmies. They, they do a little trolling. I'm not saying all negative comments are trolls. You can have your genuine criticisms, but we've all seen comments that are just trying to stir the pot, you know? It doesn't matter how thought out or correct your response to a troll comment is. As soon as you respond, you've stooped down to their level and lost. And the number four reason that I just thought of is because I think people can forget that behind these comments and profile pictures, is a real person with emotions. Ian Hecox from Smosh made an analogy I really liked that reading negative comments is like boxing. When you read a negative comment, it's like getting punched in the face. But with training, you can build your stamina to learn techniques and blocks to reduce the damage a punch would do to you. But at the end of the day, you're still boxing and there's only so many punches to the face you can take before you have to tap out. I can read a hundred positive comments and one negative one, and it's the negative comment that'll stick in my brain. I would be lying if I said I never got hurt by a comment. And I know I'm not the only one who feels this way because there's a word for it. In psychology, there's things called cognitive distortions, which are times when our brain thinks in unhealthy ways, like catastrophizing, overgeneralization, or depersonalization. And one of these distortions is called selective abstraction, which is when we focus on one detail taken out of context and ignore all the other, more important details. And it's not exclusive to reading comments either. It's the same thing when you're hanging out with friends and you make one awkward joke and you focus on that for the rest of the night and ignore all the other good interactions you had. So how do we stop this flawed way of thinking? I, I'm asking you, I, I don't know, leave a comment. <laughs> Sometimes we're able to laugh off mean comments, but I think everyone has at least one comment that got to them. For me, it's always the comments about things I'm insecure about, or the comments saying things about me that are objectively wrong. Unfortunately, the only solution to deal with toxic comments is to just ignore them. Don't even let them take up space in your brain. If you're going to put yourself on the internet, expect to see the good and the very, very bad. You're not gonna please everyone and you don't need everyone's approval. So thank you 0.5% of people who leave positive comments on internet videos. Us lurkers might not get involved in the conversation, but we sure do love watching the conversation happen from the sidelines. <sighs> and now that you've watched this YouTube video, let's go see what other people who've watched this YouTube video are talking about. Who's this Bob guy? G'day everyone, it's me, James. Thank you so much for watching a video about the comment section. I'm really looking forward to reading the comments on this video. Have any of you ever left a comment on a YouTube video? Let me know in the comment box down below. Also, I'm excited to announce that the graphic novel for Oddballs has been released. You can get yourself a copy at Target, Walmart, or my website. Once again, I have to give a big thanks to my amazing team who did such an incredible job, especially David Toons. He's just like super, super talented. And with that, all I have to say is wear your seatbelts, mates.